Hello there, this is Kush Sharma from Creative Pad Media. In this tutorial, we'll be using ChatGPT AI to create a complete brand kit for an unbranded product. To demonstrate this, in this video, we'll be using the example of an unbranded protein powder. So let's say we run some sort of a company and these are the products that we've just received. They don't have any sort of branding and we want to start everything from scratch and start creating things like logos, label designs, merchandise designs, social media designs, and all these other things. We're gonna do everything from scratch using ChatGPT, which now is available even on the free plan. And also this won't really involve any effort from your part because I'm gonna be sharing this Google document with you, which is called as the ChatGPT AI Branding Kit Prompts, where you will be able to just copy paste and generate all these amazing images without any effort. I'm just gonna be talking about this document. So how things are gonna start is once you are on ChatGPT, just open up a new chat. And here, once you have access to this document, the link will be given in the description. There are just certain things that you need to know, which is that first of all, we'll be starting from this point, which says brand identity. And this is where we'll be basically giving an idea to chat GPT about our product and about the different things related to our brand. So what do these colors mean? Because some of them are in black, blue and red. So you can see on top here, whenever you see anything with blue, you're not supposed to copy and paste that inside chat GPT. This is just as a reference instruction. So don't copy this. Anything in red is the variable part of the prompt. For example, in this case, it is the protein powder, but this will change according to your own product or your own brand. Anything in black is the fixed part of the prompt so that you can leave it as it is and copy paste things. Also, once you do receive this shared document, to make changes to it, you will just have to go over to file and then hit download, and then you can choose any format which will allow you to edit this. So let's get started right now. Let me show you how this works and how easy this is. So we're gonna start off with brand identity. So all you have to do now is, remember we have to avoid the blue part, this is just for reference, but let's say something like this. Now I've already filled in those parts, this will change according to your product. But then once you've done that, just copy this. Right now we're not generating anything, we're just telling chat GPT about our brand and that's it. So it gets the context about whatever we want and it's gonna give you like a confirmation. And since I've asked it to generate a name and a tagline, you can see that it has choose, chosen this particular name, this particular tagline and all these other things. You can go through that. And once you have confirmed that, yes, this is what you want, from the next part onwards is when we start creating things like the logo, the labels and the other designs and stick to the same window so that the context remains the same and therefore you don't have to at any point of time, repeat yourself about it following the brand colors and the other things like the logo and the tagline. So let's get started with this. I've already done this, but just to at least show you how this is done uh, for the first creation. So we, since now we have this thing sorted, we can go on to the next part, which is gonna be the logo. So we can now just copy this. Remember this entire thing is in black, so we really don't need to do anything apart from just copying it and running this. And since you're in the same window, it understands that you're talking about the same brand. So let's wait for this logo here. All right, so you can see that just like that, we already have a logo, the name of our brand and the tagline. And ChatGPT is pretty awesome at this. Now, just to save time, I've created this already. So let me show you all the results which we'll get once we start copying and pasting all these different things that you will see in the document. We'll go one by one, so let's start. All right, so in this example also, I exactly started off the same way, copied the brand identity part. And again, it just gave me all these things. Then it was like, create a logo based on this. And it gave me a similar logo, Feral Force, Unleash the Beast Within, and I really like this. Then we moved on to the next part in this particular document, which was the label because remember we have that protein powder jar so we need a label for that and in this case you can see in the reference instruction just upload the photo of the logo and then we're just going to basically copy paste something like this 
So create a label for the protein powder jar for the front side. So it shows the following information. Since this is in red, this will vary according to whatever you want. So when I did this, so when I did this, I just uploaded that image of the logo and then just copied and pasted this. And you can see just like that, I had the front part of the label already. Then I copied and pasted and did the same thing for the backside here. Yeah, I just changed these things like ingredients, the FDA approval and all these things. And you can see that it did a pretty good job. In this case, of course, if you want, this is just an example, but you can ask it to exactly change and get the text that you want by writing it in the prompt. Chat GPT is very, very good at text. So once I had this, we moved on to the next part, which was about putting these labels on that product. So this is under the tagline product photos with branding. And here also you can see upload the photo of the label front side and the product itself. That's exactly what I did. So this was the front part of the label, the product, put this label on the protein powder jar. This will be the front side. And you can see that this did a pretty amazing job. Similarly for the back side, and you can see that this also was really, really nice. Then we moved on to the next part because you can keep on doing this for the other products. So remember we had that uh, protein powder bottle. So again, I just uploaded the logo and the bottle and put this label on the protein drinking bottle. And only the logo is enough as the design has to be minimal. And you can see that it changed the colors, but overall I think it still looked very, very real and very nice. Similarly for our t-shirt also I did the same thing create a design for this t-shirt that goes well with this brand so all these things are right here in the document also this was the first design it gave me I was okay with this but then I said be more creative you know change some things in it I'm giving you the liberty so sometimes you can do that and the second design was something that I really really liked then we moved on to the next part which was a creative product shoot with reference images so this is more like not just the product image, but sort of a more creative shoot where you've liked some sort of an image and you would like your own product to be replicated in that style. So here also, you can see, this was one of the images that I really liked from the internet and I wanted to create something for my own product here. So this time you'll upload that new image with the label and just copy paste the this part, which was create an image similar to the first one, but for the product in the second image. And you can see straight away, we've got a nice looking image, which we can use for e-commerce, maybe for advertisements and other things. Similarly, I had really liked this low key shot of the camera, use the same prompt again. You can do this multiple times with any sort of a reference image. And I really like this result, but I just modified it a bit, which I'm gonna show you because I added a protein scoop a spoon uh, sort of a thing here also. Sometimes you can just ask it to uh, change things because it had done a good job here, but I think it had missed out the logo. So you can ask it, do it again, and you can see that it changed that logo to our original logo. And then I typed in, make it slightly wide angle and add a scoop spoon with protein powder lying next to it. And I think overall then this result was really, really nice. And finally, there was this image of this man working out. And again, I just typed in the same thing, same exactly the same prompt, and it just put the two together. And this looked more like those shots where you get a large overlay of the product against an image. And I think this also looks like a good advertisement image. Then I moved on to the next part, which is about the social media designs. Now this is a bit tricky. There are two ways to do it. One is if you are, if you really don't have any ideas, you can ask ChatGP to give you some ideas. And based on that, you can ask it to start creating the designs, but we're also gonna be seeing uh, something more specific. That is, if you have something already in mind, how to do that. So let's see the general method first. So you can see, I just copied pasted that thing again, which was give some ideas for the different social media designs for Instagram posts for this brand. And like I said, you can, in this case, it's Instagram posts, but you can change it to anything that you want here. So you can see it gave me a couple of ideas like transformation post, gym motivation quote, and all these things. And then what you can do is whichever you like, you can just either copy paste that or in the prompt, you can just say, I like the idea, number this of gym motivation quote, create a design for this. And you can see it starts to do that. Then you can say, I like the idea number one of transformation post before and after. Now in this case, it actually didn't let me generate it because of content policies. A lot of times before and after images are restricted by AI platforms. So that can happen. So I said, that's okay. Uh, what about the fifth idea for the fitness tip of the week? And I really like this design that it gave me. So just like that, we have our social media designs, which you, know, you can just use again and again. 
And then finally, if you want to do something specific, that was where this came into play. So here you can see design a YouTube thumbnail. You can change this to anything that you want for the particular topic, which in this case was a fitness podcast run by this brand and maintain the colors and horizontal aspect ratio. I did try exactly writing the pixels, the size in terms of the height and width, but it was not really following that. So I just typed in horizontal aspect ratio and we did this. This was the first result we got, but this day really didn't look like a thumbnail. So I just asked it to generate it again. And this time, this particular thumbnail was much better. Finally, what if you're doing all this, but you're working with a freelancer and you need to often give them something uh, that serves as a reference from the, for the brand colors, the font and all these things so that they can also uh, use this to create the designs. For that, you can create a brand board. So you can just copy these things after changing whatever you want for your own product. And when I created a brand bro uh, board here, you can see after I typed in this, it really generated this nice looking template which had the brand name, the logo, the tagline, the different colors that I want and the fonts that I want for my designs. And this can be helpful if you're working with a team. So you can see just like that within a few minutes, you can go from having a completely unbranded product to pretty much having all the design work done by a free AI tool. So in case this video helped you out, do give it a like. And if you wanna follow along all my experiments with the different AI image and video editing tools out there, then make sure you subscribe and I will see you next time.